Hi everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to this week's episode of Noreen's Garden. We're going to continue again this week with our holiday series, which is Botanical Holiday Gifts from the Garden, and we're going to show you how to make a delicious and beautiful rosemary and garlic infused oil. So come on along and let's see how we do this. Okay, this could not be any easier. If you grow garlic and rosemary, or not, if you are a, someone who enjoys partaking of the bounty at the farmer's market, or even at the grocery store, let's be real, um, you can make a homemade gift, or several, from, you know, the pepper vinegar that we made last week to this oil that we're going to make this week. You can package them together. You can give them separately to all your fun and foodie friends, and they're going to really appreciate this gift. So what we have is really simple. We're going to make some rosemary and garlic infused oil. Okay, what we're going to start with here is I have one and a half cups of vegetable oil. So this is actually a blend. I have 50% uh, equal parts of... Uh, extra virgin olive oil and sunflower oil. You can use any type of oil that you like. I like the olive oil in this, but I don't want to use full on extra virgin because it's just too expensive to do this with and um, it's just not necessary. You Extra virgin is a finishing oil. You can use it in your salad dressings. You don't want to use it, you don't want to get it hot. But I've used extra virgin olive oil and uh, three quarters of a cup and three quarters of a cup of sunflower oil in here. So what we're going to do is I have about eight cloves of uh, fresh garlic that I have crushed. I just mashed them and that's it. And I have about two tablespoons of rosemary needles. And we're going to put that in there. Okay, what we have here is the oil several cloves of garlic that I crushed and some of the rosemary needles. Now I went out in the garden this morning and picked this rosemary fresh and then I think I'm also going to show you how to do something else fun with the rosemary in coming uh, videos. What I also did was the garlic is my own home harvested garlic from last year and this is uh, last year's harvest so what I did was I took several heads. I actually took four bulbs of garlic and I peeled them all by putting them in between two bowls and shaking them vigorously and they kind of fall out of their skins. But it, it's not altogether necessary that the skins come off completely. But I did kind of shish kebab several cloves of garlic here we're going to put in the jar. And I have a few of the more tender stems of uh, rosemary that we're going to put in the jar as well. But what we want to do now is we want to heat up this oil. We're going to go to the stove and we're going to heat it up just to get it warm and get all of the essential oils out of the rosemary and out of the garlic and get that steeping. Then we're going to come back and we're going to pour it in our jar. Once this is warm, I'll be right back and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, our oil and rosemary and garlic is warmed up. Now, I have to stress to you, you don't need this to be simmering or boiling or bubbling or anything of the sort. If you, like I was stirring it with a skewer, and every few moments I would just take the skewer out and put it on my hand, and I would test it. So, like testing a baby bottle is the best thing I can explain to you. You don't want it to be too hot at all, because... That will ruin it. Um, and it's just not necessary. So what I'm going to do is I have a funnel here and I also have a strainer. And I'm just going to overflow as I often do. That's why I put a plate there, folks. Okay, and I was going to tell you too, this garlic, don't uh, throw it away. You throw it in tonight's dinner. I'm going to grab a s something here and remove, there we go, alrighty, now, now we've made a big mess, I'm just going to wipe the lid, you don't have to process this at all, you just need to put the cap on it. 
And just like with the, um, the chili vinegar, you're going to stick this away in your back pantry or wherever it is you keep things, like your vanilla extract, you want to keep it cool and dry and dark, okay? And I'm going to clean up the outside of the jar here. And this jar was washed and it was sterilized, so no worries there. And look how pretty that is. All you have to do now is let this steep. This doesn't even have to steep that long. A couple of weeks and it's going to be great. By Christmas, if we get ready to use this at Christmas, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be super flavorful. And you can give it in this jar, which I think is a great size to give. Or you can put it in a decorative bottle. Um, or I was going to tell you, if you're more of a big batch kind of person, you can make this in a big two quart jar and just shove a whole bunch of garlic and a whole bunch of rosemary down in there pour the warm oil over and just put it in your pantry and forget about it then when you're ready to make these up as gifts then you can go to the trouble of skewering the, the garlic and putting the pretty tender fronds of rosemary in there and then give those as gifts like that so that is how you make a beautiful jar I was going to say if you come across unique, unique bottles or jars hang on to them and for stuff like this. Yeah, and the craft stores, especially this close to Christmas, will often have pretty bottles and stuff. And uh, like the bottle that we used last week when we made the chili vinegar, that was a fizzy water bottle. So, oh. so there you have it. A really pretty jar of in rosemary and garlic infused oil that is perfect for gift giving. I hope that you give this a try whether it's out of your own garden or from the farmer's market or even the grocery store. And I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.